video shows how to start programs when they fail to launch. So if you have a program and you double click and you wait, 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 and nothing actually happens, uh, sometimes there's a very good reason for that. Now in this example, I actually have the software running in the background. So it's already running. This is a reason why it wouldn't start. There are several types of software that will launch once and they won't just continue to launch. So like a web browser is something that you can open and then you can open another and you can open another and you can open another. There are several programs that don't do that. Um, some of them are like this editing software, um, Adobe programs like Photoshop and InDesign, QuickBooks, Outlook. These are all good examples of software that will not uh, start once they're already running. So if you double click on the software and it's not already open like it is in my case and nothing happens and it doesn't open and you keep trying, it's never going to open. So it's kind of like sending a job to a printer where the first one got jammed or for whatever reason the printer didn't print your job. If you tell it to go 10 more times, it's never going to print because once the first one basically causes that jam, nothing can get past it. It's sort of like sticking something in a doorway and then expecting things to get around that. It's just not going to work. So software is similar, um, but there is a way to get the software to launch without actually rebooting your computer. If you did a reboot, this would also fix it. But if you're like me, you might have, you know, four or five different programs open and 25 tabs on the internet that you don't want to have to go find again. So what you can do is open Task Manager. If you don't have this much details, and yours probably looks like this if you've never opened it, um, just click More Details. That will give you all the stuff you want to see and all these tabs up here, which are very important. So from here, usually when something like this happens, you can find the software over here and you can, or you won't, I'm sorry, excuse me, you won't find it over here usually when this happens. Sometimes you will. And you, in that case, you can just right click and you can say end task or you can click and say end task. And that will close the software. Like if it's not running right or it's failing or some sort and you can't even get it to close, this is where you would come to do that. But it also works for this example. So if it's listed in here, just end the task and try again. If it's not listed in here, but it will not start, what's probably happened is there are a lot of services that run each one's, each of these pieces of software. They sit over here under details and also services, but details is where you want to go. When you launch a program, a service starts and it's running in the background and you can see all these different examples of Chrome and I'll have the same thing with Edge. Uh, and Firefox as well, because I have all of them open. Um, <laughs> luckily, there's lots of memory on this computer. Um, but what happens is the service starts, and then in the background, it's running, but the application that you're used to seeing, the user interfa interface, if you will, in this instance, the software I was messing with is this. This is the user interface part of the application. There are also services that run in the background. So if I were to scroll down, I could find that service, eventually, uh, right here. So that's the, the service that connects to that piece of software. So what would happen is I would try to launch it. I don't get the application interface, but this is running. So in any software that won't start a second instance, you're clicking on the application to launch it, but it's not launching because this service is already running. So it's doing a check and it's like, I'm already running. That must have been an accident. And it just ignores your command. So you have to go in here, say end task, and then end the process. And then what you do is you go back to the software, you start it, and it's going to open that piece of software. Uh, unfortunately, slightly outside the window. But you get the idea of what I'm saying. So the idea is if you can't get the application to run, you've tried several times, and it's not opening, then it's probably because the service is running in the background and you just don't know it. So if you open up the task manager by right-clicking anywhere on your taskbar and saying task manager, then you can come in here to the details tab. This is key. If this isn't sorted by alpha, just click name up at the top and that'll sort for you. Find the service and the task and then try launching the program. And most of the time that will always fix this issue.